So he ended up with a halberd. He ended up with a spear. Let's unequip that. He should have the halberd. He should have the spear. Yeah, we still don't have any shields or anything of the sort. Okay. Maybe they have to see the low health enemy to eat it. Interesting? I don't think so. I think they've eaten things behind them before. Yeah, they definitely have. Okay. Well, I think I know where to go. We're going to head back for the... The weird puzzle button thing. Let's fill out the map over here. I think that's it. I don't know if... I don't think I've missed any loot. Oh. That's just the Omnom plant. Where is it, by the way? Okay, it's, it's over here. Next to the campsite. Yeah, I should head to bed soon. It's getting late. My voice is going bad. Sort of missing button. Okay. Nope. But it says owl. Oh, is this a music puzzle? Have there been other totems like this all over the place? I haven't spotted any. Okay, let's look at this. Yeah, food chain by the looks of it. I could see... I could see that. It's like it's almost food chain, but it doesn't quite work, because where does spider, snake, and owl fit on the mix? Yeah, because Owl eats Squirrel, but... And yeah, the acorn's important for... Yeah, no, I think you guys... I think we're barking up the wrong tree. Let's look for another p totem pole. Yeah, here we go. See? A leaf. So we just have to look around a little bit more for a third totem pole somewhere around here. This is why backseat gaming bothers me a little bit sometimes, because everybody's wrong and it's like, it must be food chain! And it's like... Very clearly not, when you actually get the solution. That was that one? Sort of. But it doesn't have anything on it. I mean, honestly, we could probably guesstimate 
at this point without finding it? Yeah, we're guessing with you, though. I know, but it's like, you guys were egging me on. I was like, I don't think it's food chain. Like, how does this make sense? And everybody's like, I will eat spider, eat snake. And it's like, what? Let's see, let's see another totem poles around here. Nothing over there, nothing over there. I don't see it in this mix. It might actually be earlier in the forest, or actually really close to the puzzle solving thing, and I've just wandered too far. Let's look around. There's got to be another one. Nearby, somewhere here. No, nothing there. I mean, honestly, just knowing that Leaf is number two makes a decent difference. Is it gonna just look, though? Instead of just brute forcing it? Because I, I can brute force things, but... I'm curious if you could actually have solved that automatic automatically. Like, right off the gate. Or right out of the gate, right off the bat. If you uh, just guessed hard enough or no knew what the answer was. I think you can do that in like some games like Grimrock and whatnot, for sure. Mist, you definitely can. Or is it Riven? It's Riven, not Mist. Okay, well I'm not see- oh, there it is. Acorn. Acorn Leaf Owl. I get... and eh, I get it. Well, down we go. Riven is missed. It's missed too. Ki kinda. I guess they're connected. I don't know. Kickstarted Firmament uh, earlier today. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. I, we, Shell and I did a series on abduction, but we were having trouble working to, together to some degree. More specifically, I don't handle backseat gaming particularly well. It's something that should be incredibly obvious based on this recent observation. Owie. Somebody's got a bone to pick with us, and it's a hearty one. I think we'll... Okay, there it goes. He didn't die immediately. Anyway, we level up. Perfect. And so yeah, Shell was getting backseat gaming and I was getting snappy. Cause I don't, I don't really like backseat gaming that much. It, it like, it bugs me. So asphyxiation... Yes. It just seems fun. We'll at least go for the poison damage and maybe for the intelligence perk. More strength! This is one strong bucket. I'll get him a bit of int. Maybe there's some means of respecking. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. It's not like the game's been so challenging it's unbeatable. Oh, that requires a key. And it's like, I do appreciate backseat gaming, especially when people are trying to help. It's just, my biggest problem is when it's either, like, pushy, obvious information, like, press B to dodge, it's like, yup. <laughs> that skeleton warlord just dropped its thing. Uh, it's pretty great. I guess I'm gonna hit the skeleton warlord. So that'll clear that one. pretty much all of them out. It's perfect. I got a guy a long time ago, god, I'm talking about this topic way too much lately, uh, a while ago, who had never played the game before, but was giving me, like, really oh, specific that information. That so nice. Uh, more or less as though he knew what he was talking about. And, yeah, I was just going along with it, because, yeah, he, he straight up was, like, giving specific directions. It's like, alright, well, I'm stuck. Uh, what information do you have for me? And it took, like, at the end of it, he admitted, yeah, he'd never played the game before, and he was just guessing, but it would have made sense. And I was like, no, that's not what you do. That's the bad way of doing things. 
Okay. Recipe, cherry bomb. Gold and orders Anything from King Attila. Other than this strange wooden crown? I believe a bomb recipe qualifies as interesting. Indeed. Still worthless without the ingredients and something to mix it in, though. We'll work on that. Okay, good Teltos Masters. It is said Hadura himself walked into this very room ages ago, and his very own personal his very own vault is protected by a large locked door. I can think of no better place in Operencia to seclude you for your important task than where one step the Firesmith King. As you know, you are my last hope to save my beloved Queen Reika from her mysterious disease. I expect you to do everything in your power and more to find the cure. I put my trust in you. Do not let me down. Everything you need will be brought here, and I do mean everything. But do know this. Should you fail to find a cure, you shall never leave. You will die here yourselves with no one to bury you. Do not fail me. Do not fail her. Do not fail it's yourselves. It's a letter from King Attila to Taltosh Masters. It seems his wife took ill. And she never got better. What did I say about the Taltosh? Charlatans, all of them. Failures. That's why they no longer exist. Some do. So long as they don't involve themselves in my life, they can waste their lives away however they like. You're on a mission to find the sun. I see your point. Yeah, the other thing is, the forever example that I will always give is, you need 13 hearts to get the Master Sword. Like, oh, that was, that got tiring. Because, like, people would show up to, like, actively try and spoil things by sharing that bit of information. It was like, I, I'm Let's wielding something it. something we can use to concoct this potion. What do you think that wooden crown does? Well, it's quite hefty, and its edges are very precise. Sounds like a secret key to me. Yeah, so we're we're looking for that well, along with the bronze crown, maybe. So find a cauldron. Is there one at one of these campsites? I think there was at that very first one. If I'm not mistaken, I am mistaken, dang it. There's like some pots and stuff. Yeah, for whatever reason there's this bag marked there, but I think that's the uh I think that's just the the sword uh, not the sword. It's like chests. Hmm. Trying to remember. I guess we have to go into Stanky Cave? It's the only other place I can think of that would have a cauldron. Either that or I guess the beach fire, but I don't remember the beach fire having a cauldron either. Or there's nothing over here. It's just like a little path going this direction and there's nothing with it. have a cauldron though. No. Yeah, I guess beach cave next and if if that fails then we go back to oh wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. That is that is definitely not a uh, an item I have yet. And no cauldron in here. So I guess let's head for the beach fire and see if that had a cauldron. I don't remember one. It wasn't there another chest for me to find. Nope, there's only two on this level. At least in this immediate distance. There might be more further in, but not here at least. <sighs> I've only found one actual secret. It doesn't have a cauldron either. However, there is a secret. A secret room with treasure and nothing here to kill us. Who says Operencia has totally gone to hell? Well, I uh, that was worth it. Okay, so he Mezzi levels up. I guess let's grab Don your armor.
I'm just gonna keep buffing his damage. So far, we haven't needed a whole lot of healing here. But we need armor like crazy. But yeah, no more chests nearby. No cauldron, though. We can try going over and talking to the big tree, maybe? Oh! The locked chest. We got a we got a, a key for it a long time ago. I'd actually forgotten that chest straight up existed because uh, we almost immediately went into like bug battles left and right. Bunch of chests to get loot. I'm not I'm not Kratos. It was a Kratos. Do they actually say his name ever? In the most recent God of War game? Nope. We get a necklace. But no cauldron. Hmm. Because, yeah, I don't... I guess let's go look at Spider Cave. It's the only other place I haven't backtracked to. That's over. That's over here. And then, yeah, barring that, maybe we camp for the night. Maybe we'll get some information. Because, yeah, I d definitely don't stop at enough rest spots. That's for certain. Yeah, nothing even vaguely cauldron shaped in here. But yeah, let's let's head for the fire near the merchant. Who maybe the merchant is open? There okay. must be something we can feed this thing that'll shut it up for good. Something disgusting, perhaps? Okay. Oh, that was... You know, actually... Well, here, we might as well rest right here. The more we're here, the more I'm inclined to believe what you said earlier, Messe. The forest is linked to the underworld somehow. Make no mistake, it's something I'd very much like to be wrong about. In my experience, that's when we're all the most correct. It's as though darkness itself permeates this forest from below. As an evil influence affecting everything. On the other hand, even the most normal-looking spider is something I'll rush to kill any day. Perhaps. But you probably don't need a sword for it. I gotta remember to actually stop by... Mush, are you... writing? So what if I am? Nothing. It's just... You don't really strike me as the writing type. You don't really strike me as the writing type either. And it appears that only one of us is right about the other. <laughs> Fair enough. So tell me, what do you write about? Your innermost feelings. Oh, please. It's more about the people, places, and things I encounter throughout my travels. I need something to take my mind off of all of this madness around us. So you log the madness in your journal? I have more control of it there. Would you like to read it? I have nothing to hide. Looking to double the size of your audience, I see. Ha! I suppose so. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. These are like... These are absolutely, like, separate things entirely. That's cool. I don't know if I'm gonna read the lore, it's gonna be a bit hard on my voice. Okay, you're right, there is that one door we got the key for. Well, who knows if we actually got the key for this door down here. I don't think so. That's quite the door. I've never seen such intricate use of copper. Just wish we had a key for it. Yeah. My bet is, we have to go find that well to get access to that door. But no, like, I like lore. My problem is just reading that stuff out loud is harder on my voice than just talking normally. And I'm not really sure why.
Yeah, there's a cauldron there. And there's a portal here. Or, not a portal here. There, there's one of the totems here. But it's un... Nothing is listed. Oh, but we can't interact with that thing anymore anyway. So how do we get across to the merchant? Yeah, you access it via fire campfire if you grabbed it from merchant. But how do we get to merchant? Yeah, interact with the wooden head. Oh! I see. Oh! So when I'm moving around, it doesn't actually show up as an interact. So if I don't wait long enough, you can't actually see it as an interaction object. That's actually something What's that an interesting post? bugs me about this, anyway. In forehead. Well, we just got access to this anyway. But yeah, it's just a matter of the... It doesn't light up as an interactable. I just figured it was a totem. Wow. I don't believe it. Just don't lose your balance as we cross. It, it didn't look like it was interactable, so I just assumed it was decoration. But no, it's... I need to stop and look as opposed to just get, get things on... Well, go on, I'm going by. Well, this sounds delicious. I like it how we walk and immediately start grabbing things and smashing things. Looks heavy. It is. Let's get it to a campfire. We've got some concocting to do. It doesn't look like the merchant's been here anytime soon. Anyway, yeah, that's robbery. We, uh, well, we'll see how this goes. I wonder if they're going to be mad. I'm assuming such. Hey, nice, don't just use it Time here. Time to put this oh. cauldron to work. Oh, cauldron, cherry bomb, five to nine, fire damage. Okay, use recipe hints. Second, second ingredient can be gathered on the field. First ingredient hails from the waterfront and is a petal. The fungus needs to be sedative, not healing. Okay, choose ingredients. Okay. So, second ingredient can be found on the field. Choose field, place it into the second habitat slot. Petal, drop it in the morphology slot. Choose the remaining ones. Okay. Fungus needs to be sedative. Waterfront. Okay. This says nothing about the petal. Okay, so, antibiotic, healing, there we go. That's it. Are you sure it's safe? Of course it's not safe. In other words, it's oh. just what we need. Do you remember the way to the rocks? It's marked on the map in case we get lost. So, some potions can be used in combat as skills. Equip them in your character's potion slot. Every character only has one potion slot, and the same potion can be equipped for multiple characters. Every potion has a couple of charges. Uh, let's see. Brew potions. So how many potions can I make? Out of curiosity. Roots from the woodland. Let's see, petal field, okay. So roots, petal, field, roots from the woodland. Okay. 
So that works. How many of these can I make? Oh, I can only have one. It looks like. That's interesting. So if I go to characters... How do I... Ah, potion. I see, so... We only have one of those potions, and it's one out of one. I'm assuming it we rebrew it every time we rest or something? That would make the most amount of sense. It's interesting. Well, I like that system, so instead of having to just go out for the reagents constantly... We just, uh... Make it once and then we're good. Okay. I, I like that. Tentatively. I, I want to see how much effort I'm going to have to put into these things, admittedly, but whatever. It should be fine. Okay, so here it is. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Remind me to cover my ears next time. Let's hope there is no next time. The water flows quite nicely now. We have a tree to talk to. Tree. What is our map percentage? Oh, map percentage is great. Our Enjoying secrets less so. Yes. But again. Wait. Let me guess. It is not that simple. Correct. What now? Something holds my roots in place underground. I cannot move them. I require your assistance. Where do we go? Go east. You will see for yourself. East it is. Oh, out on the beach that we've been to already. When they reached the shore, a remarkable yet all too familiar sights swished and swirled before them. A hole in the lake? Is your friend here, Yoshka? Back for more, I see. Yet another familiar sight presented itself. This time, recognizable to only one in the party. This is the man who stole the amulet and knocked you out just before we met. Light on details, but not inaccurate. The name is Sebastian. Perhaps you care to enlighten them further, Yoshka. Of course, but you look like you have more pressing matters to discuss. No less pressing than during our first encounter. But my personal quest could use the assistance of your companions if they're willing to hear my story. This is all very strange, but I'm curious. You were the symbol of the Seven Tribes. Your story greatly interests me. Fair warning, it starts with a Taldosh. It does. A very wise Taltosh named Gunsel, who once served Attila himself. I met the Taltosh years ago, during his legendary travels across Operencia. During my time with him, Gunsel had a vision of destiny. My destiny. He told me my purpose, to secure the sword of Attila and deliver it to the one who brings light into the darkness. In great battle, this chosen one will lead us. With the Sun King's disappearance, I fear this battle is nigh. The Sun King? Nopkirai is his real name, said to be the personification of the Sun itself. In fairy tales of the Old Faith. True. By day, he mounts his mighty silver-haired steed to leap across Operencia, offering light from dawn till dusk. At night he rests, sometimes taking human form to visit this middle world himself. The Sun King is very real, and because you brought it up, young knight, tales of fairies are very real, too. So you're saying this prophecy has led you here many years later? Which just so happens to be the same place we're headed to free a talking tree. Convenient. Sounds like the will of the gods to me. I have reason to believe this is the tomb of Attila, and within it I hope to find his sword. Will you join me, then? No. You will join us. Ha ha ha! Very well, then. Do lead on. 
Sebastian has joined the party. All right, Sebastian. How are you? Okay, so he's got quick draw. If you have the highest initiative in a turn, 10% crit chance. Somersault, damage weapon. Okay. Easy shot. Fire arrow. Fire arrow is nice. Chilling arrow. Barbed arrow. Not bad. Uh, raiding arrow. Sorry, I'm getting real sleepy. Crossbow roulette. Demoralize. Poison arrow. I'm getting the distinct feeling this guy is just a straight up upgrade from Yoshka. Wow. Oh, wait, no, that's critical damage, not critical chance. Because he's very much just a. Dex related character ish. I want to double check this. Okay, yeah, that's int relating. Related. Because, yeah, Yoshka's like a weird all rounder. Sort of. Okay, so Sebastian. Load it up. What's this? Energy 5%. Yeah, strength strength five's gotta be gotta be him. A couple of daggers. At some point I'll care more about equipping these characters, but yeah. Time and stuff. Anyway, we there's still more to do here, but it's time to go into this dungeon instead. Actually, we should probably go save. At the very least. And then we'll go looking for secrets later. I'm gonna save there just in case. I have a lot of firewood. Ah, dang. Within this tomb lies the coffin of King Attila, and with him his legendary sword that destroyed the mighty dragon Thade, or so believes the aged warrior known as Sebastian. Then again, it could just be just as easily a death trap, now couldn't it? The companions entered the tomb with an optimistic sense of wonder. It did not last. With no warning, an unseen foe slammed the door shut behind them. And then, silence. Pure darkness. We're going to die in here. But then... Well... At least we won't die in the dark. Man, this game's got some nice I've style. I've seen a keyhole shaped like an arrow before. Curious. Yeah, seriously, Sebastian has such a great voice actor, too. He, Messi just, I don't know, just not quite as good, which is a darn shame, because everybody else sounds great, and it's written great, too. Messi's written well, too. It's just the, the audio quality. And the voice direction is less. 